if you're still learning how to mix and master, one important thing you should know is that mastering is not just about loudness. Let me show you three things you can do with an EQ in the mastering stage that doesn't even affect the loudness directly. The very first trick is how you can expose elements in the mix. Now, if I want to expose the vocals more, I can push it this region up. If I want to hide it some more, I can dock it down. The second trick you can do with an EQ is boosting the high end, but in a controlled way. And once I boost the high frequency, it's going to make it feel like the quality increased. Another trick you can do with the EQ is to create more headroom. That means if you want to squeeze out more loudness from the song, you simply remove a little bit of the low end pass. Now you don't want to go too steep, maybe six, and then make sure you turn on linear phase mode. And then you can simply cut. And this is how it sounds when I turn off the EQ. In my dreams, cash rules, everything around me, cream. Life no really day is the essence. And when I turn on the EQ. In my dreams, cash rules, everything around me, cream. Life no really day is the essence. If you find this helpful, you don't have to keep relying on hacks. You can learn in a very organized and systematic way when you sign up for our online mixing and mastering course, which will teach you how to become a professional mixing and mastering engineer. And you also get to earn a certification while you're at it. So if you're interested, visit our website, sctutorial.com, or just comment course only if you're seeing this on Instagram. Cheers.